Hey guys, I want to make a video this morning to talk a little bit about morning routines, fitness, uh, optimizing for health, testosterone production for men, things like this. Uh, if you follow my channel, you'll see that most of my videos have to do with uh, cr Christian content, right? Preaching the gospel, sharing my own personal testimony and things like that. <clears throat> Those videos are going to keep coming through for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm also just realizing that I have a lot of varied interests and I feel actually God put it on my heart this morning to be like, yo, why not talk about some things that you're learning, walking the narrow path in terms of optimizing health and, and things of this nature. Because we are, to, to tie it into the Bible a little bit, you know, we're told that our bodies are a temple and that our bodies are made for God. They're made for the, bodies are made for the Lord, right? So it's only natural that we would care for our vessel although it's decaying although it's subject to the second law of ther thermodynamics although eventually it will be in the grave while there's life in these bodies i believe it's appropriate and godly that we would care for our physical temples in a really good way so i just want to share a few things that i've been learning because to be honest when i was a younger man i lived in a very degenerate way <clears throat> i lived uh you know i had problems with abusing alcohol i had uh problems with addictions to various other things i i ate like crap you know uh just like going out to restaurants all the time no concern for what kind of oils were being used to cook with things like this and um you know the unfortunate thing is and hopefully i say this to inspire anybody who's younger anybody who might be watching me who's like maybe like let's say still in their 20s um when you're young like that the body is the most naturally regenerative, right? It bounces back very quickly. We all, any of us who have ever gotten drunk before in our lives, right? We probably remember that the first few times that we did that, it was like not a big deal, right? Maybe the next day the hangover was not so bad. And then as we've aged or gotten older, it seemed like the consequences became more and more obvious to that sort of behavior. And I think that ties into the regener regenerative nature of the body. The body will bounce back from a lot when we're young. And then as we get older, uh, it starts to take a lot more for the body to recover. And one thing I'm learning now, I just turned 39, right? So not quite so young anymore, personally. And um, the funny thing is, is like now I'm living the most righteous life that I ever had before. I, I abstain completely from all drugs, all alcohol. Uh, I practice semen retention. Uh, I'm not sexually engaging with anybody i eat really clean i exercise i'm in the gym four times a week lifting weights i'm in the swimming pool one day a week swimming laps i do cardio after weights at the gym i take my dog out where's she <laughs> over here sorry she's hiding bonita say hi say hi i take her out on a walk almost every morning that's like a three mile three mile walk and it's hilly. It's like lots of ups and downs. That's just to start my day, just to get my blood flowing. So I'm not trying to say that I'm like a, a picture of health or anything like that because I've abused my body a lot in my life, which is unfortunate because the body, you know, it carries some of the scars and some of the, uh, even though it is regenerative, right? And even though we can undo a lot of the damage that we've done to our bodies, um, you know, there's still going to be that imprint that was left of like, oh, wow, you know, if I had been living like I'm living right now for like the last 10 years, I'd probably be some like fitness influencer, right? Or I'd be doing these videos with my shirt off or like, you know, people would look at me and be like, dang, what's your, what, what's your secret, man? But the truth is, is I've only been living the way that I'm living now, which is to say like really, really, really clean and really, really, really consistently with lots of discipline, getting into the gym, things like this. I've only been living this way for like honestly, like six months, like this devoted, you know, not that it was so bad before that, but it only got as good as it's gotten now, like pretty recently. And I'm starting to feel guys, I'm starting to feel amazing, right in my body. And hallelujah, right? Let's praise God for that. Like I praise God for that. Because, you know, who doesn't like feeling good in their body, right? Not from a place of desire or lust or you know, anything like that, just from a, a holy place of like, wow, you know, I wake up, I've been taking care of myself, I've been eating well, I've been getting lots of rest, doing the right supplementation, uh, and exercise, fitness, strength training, like really devoting myself in the gym, 
and now I'm starting to be like, wow, this is amazing. You know, like I can feel the life in my body. I can feel the strength that's in my body. And Christ did, Christ says, you know, I came to, to bring you life and to bring it in abundance. So, uh, certainly it's not easy for me to imagine that any of what I'm talking about would be like against Christ. Right. I think he's like, yeah, man, get it. Like get that life in your body, like feel good, walk upright. You know, God wants people who are walking upright, projecting strength, projecting truth, you know, uh, able to resist all these mandates and agendas that are running in the world, things like this. So it matters. I believe it matters in the kingdom of God, as well as here in this earthly flesh, flesh trapped world that we live in. So, uh, a little more to the point, I'll probably keep this video a little bit of a shorter one because I want more people to be able to watch it. And I know the longer videos, they don't tend to get as many clicks. So I'm going to keep this one under 10 minutes. And in the spirit of that, I'm just going to share a few things that have really helped me. First of all, as a man, I noticed that orienting a lot of my behavior towards optimizing testosterone production has really helped me a lot. And the reason I bring that up is because when, again, this is more advice for men. And I'll try to share some things that are more general for, for both genders as there are only two genders. <laughs> yeah, you can, you, can, uh, you can send me to hell for saying that, but that's the truth. Um, so basically, as a man, I've noticed that when I have um, optimized my life for optimizing testosterone production, that there's a whole bunch of really positive downstream effects from doing that. When I opt optimize for testosterone production, it forces me to take supplements that are really good for my health. It forces me to get really good sleep. It forces me to be very conscientious about eating. It promotes, uh, it makes weightlifting and strength training look really desirable. Um, and all of this increasing testosterone leads to really desirable downstream benefits like better mood, feeling more regulated, feeling more strong and healthy in my body. Um, yeah, all kinds of stuff, honestly, guys. It's it's a really, really important metric for men because the testosterone levels right now, today, are like half of what they were like 50 years ago. And that's a really serious problem. And I actually believe personally, this might sound crazy, but I would go so far as to say that a lot, 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 lot of the problems that we see in the world today with all of this gender dysphoria, all of this confusion out there, a real absence, a real apparent absence of like strong masculine energy that's like able to push back against all of these demonic forces i would say that a huge part of that could be explained by this massive decline in testosterone levels like men have gotten less manly and so it makes women feel less safe they feel like they've got to be more masculine to try to like make up for this deficit within men and that creates all kinds of like wobbly dynamics between the sexes you know, where relationships are failing, divorces are happening, families are falling apart. There's all these addictions, all this suffering, you know, all these coping mechanisms that men are turning to. And I think it all stems back to testosterone levels have been really badly depleted. All right. Now, I, now I know I said to keep this under 10 minutes, so I want to zoom past that for now and just say that, um, yeah, I mean, that's actually, that's actually maybe the only the best point that I could make in this video is just living a, a, a narrow, like, walking with God and, and living, walking on the narrow path and getting rid of all of these vices and addictions. Here's the thing, guys. Let me leave you with this, okay? Until you stop doing the things that are bad for you, drinking, drug use, smoking cannabis, watching the websites, uh, you know, eating like crap, not getting enough sleep, until you actually stop doing these bad habits and replace them with good habits, you probably don't even fully realize how much of a detriment those bad habits are to you. It's gonna take a little bit of time to do things the right way, to be like, wow, holy crap, I was really harming myself before and I was telling myself the story that it probably, maybe it's not that big of a deal or, oh, it's okay to get drunk, you know, a couple times a week or whatever. But then when you stop doing those things, you're like, holy crap, I feel so much better. So that's what I wanna leave you with today. Take care of yourselves. Pray for yourselves, pray for the people you love and just walk with God, you know? If you're struggling, grab a hold of Jesus's hand and say, God, help me, pull me out of this mess that I'm living in and he will do just that, okay? So I'll leave it there. God bless you, have a beautiful day. I'll take care, see you next time.